Stellantis says its new battery technology will put it ahead of everyone. Its new battery technology, what is it? What are they even talking about? This is actually accurate considering Stellantis as a conglomerate are clearly in trouble. Their profit margins have collapsed. They've in fact lost billions of dollars recently. Is this new battery tech going to save them? Well, probably not, but here's what it is. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. YouTube's new algorithm means that you're often not getting all of our videos in your feed. There's 7,500. I'm pretty sure you're probably not seeing a lot of them. In the description, there is a link to our newsletter. Click on that and you can get an update every day of all the latest news in the electric car industry. Chrysler parent company Stellantis is calling its new intelligent battery integrated system, or IBIS for short, a breakthrough technology that will make future EVs lighter, more efficient, and quicker. Now, to be fair, Stellantis's EVs are not particularly light, so that's good news. Breakthrough tech, they say, is going from concept to reality. Now, I like the sound of that. Co-developed with Saft, Sherpa Engineering, University Paris-Saclay, and Institute Lafayette, Stellantis's IBIS embeds the charger and inverter functions directly into the battery pack, an integration that results in reduced design complexity, interior space savings, and lifetime easier maintenance. Now, there's a lot of technology being developed currently to improve space in electric cars. One of them is much smaller, much more efficient, and even more powerful electric motors. But also there's other technology like structural battery packs, gear casting, and well, many other things that are making space improvements or efficiency improvements to the interior space of an electric car and also reducing weight. But Slantis says its improved efficiency carries onto the battery's second life. IBIS facilitates the reuse of electric vehicle batteries in second life battery energy storage systems applications by reducing the need for extensive and expensive reconditioning. So you know how you think to yourself, well, the battery in my electric car, it's going to outlast the life of my vehicle, which it's almost always going to be the case now these days. Not, well, most of the time that will happen, right? But in the future, the next few years, we're going to see some new sodium ion batteries come on to play, into play with literally 5 million miles of use. And no one's ever going to drive that far in any car. I mean, never, That's, it's just not possible. So we're going to have millions of EV batteries sitting around. What do we do with them? Scientist says that um, they have a solution. By rethinking and simplifying the electric powertrain architecture, we are making it lighter, more efficient, and more cost-effective. These are the kind of innovations that help us deliver better, more affordable EVs to our customers. IBIS benefits, up to 10% energy efficiency improvement, WLTC or WLTP, not close enough, and 15% power gain, right? So a 15% power gain, it's neither here nor there in my opinion, but a 10% energy efficiency improvement, that's significant. Their new system reduces vehicle weight by 40 kilograms and frees up to 17 liters of volume, enabling better aerodynamics and design flexibility. Now, I received an email the other day saying that I overdo the impact of gigacasting on cars, that it's, it's almost meaningless, that's what someone said to me. Now, Stellantis are making a big song and dance about a 40 kilogram reduction in vehicle weight, 40 kilograms. Now, I've got no problems with that. I think reducing a car's weight with 40 kilos and increasing volume by 17 liters or up to is good. But gigacasting reduces weight on average by between 150 to 250 kilograms. Yeah. That's pretty significant. Don't believe me? Have a look at the weight of, for example, a BYD C line, which doesn't use it, and the weight of something like a Tesla Model Y or an XPeng G6, which does. The difference is astounding. Getting back to this story, early results show a 15% reduction in charging time. For example, um, AC charging speeds have been improved. To be honest, not a big difference here, if I'm honest. Along with, though, 10% energy savings. 
easier servicing and enhanced potential for second life battery reuse in both automotive and stationary applications. Now, I don't really mention why it's going to be easier in second life use, but um, I'm guessing that information will come to light at some point in time. These benefits come from the fact that EVs spend a lot more time, a lot of time and energy converting AC to DC and back again with the actual vehicle itself. If you get rid of this process and the hardware that goes along with it, this could potentially enable a pretty significant weight loss and improvements to efficiency. Some estimates say that an IBIS car could weigh in 40 kilos less and have, as I said before, quite a bit better efficiency. Now, this is a good change for electric cars. It's going to make a difference. Solantis researchers installed the system under one of the company's new Peugeot E3008 electric crossovers built on the STLA medium platform. The prototype follows years of design modeling and simulation by both Stellantis and Saft and could pave the way for the integration of Ibis technology into other Stellantis family electric cars and even hybrids as well by the end of this decade. So this is significant and is definitely an improvement to EVs. In combination with all the many other improvements the manufacturers are making to electric cars, the declining cost of batteries, the improving energy density, the improving charging speeds of both AC and DC, and all of the other changes that we continue to see, like I mentioned earlier, gigacasting, heated seat belts, uh, heat pumps, I could go on and on forever, EVs continue to improve every year. This technology, I think Stellantis is overplaying how revolutionary it is. It's great, but it's not game-changing, as Stellantis is claiming. But in my opinion, it doesn't really matter, because the truth is that when companies come up with new technology like this, if it actually is a big deal, everyone else will end up copying it, and will all benefit from that technology. What are your thoughts? Thanks for watching. The Sydney EV International Motor Show. If you want to get a 50% discount on your tickets, all you got to do, click the link in the description and use the promotion code that's in the description. Just copy and paste that. Now I should mention there's only 200 tickets available per day. So if you go to use the promo code and you can't get a ticket, wait till the next day don't wait until the day before the show to get your tickets because otherwise you'll probably miss out on getting the 50% discount.